discarded the Byzantine tradition. And that's why we have the NIV and all these. So what I'm saying to you is the Word of God, it, it has to be done theologically within the church, not secularism. And that's where the problem is. Right. And secondly, Just one response and secondly, and Jason, secondly, does that make the, sense? The editors of the Bible with critical apparatus, right? Do you know which ones they are in current use? In English translation as well? Or the Nestle Greek text. Nestle Greek text. Yes. Now, the famous other translations like the NIV yeah. and others, the American Standard Version, yes, the Western yes. Version, do they put, because what you're saying, then if this was correct, they should include the ending of Gospel of Mark within the scripture, the text. But we find most of them, the critical editions, as well as NIV, do you have an NIV? An IV. It's not the in, full, but it's just good, the good. An IV. Just to show you, just to prove my point. Mark. See whether they agree with me or they agree with uh, Jason. No, wait a minute. Don't say that. Just, just make your point, and then I'll, I'll come in. Most early manuscript omit Mark 16, 9 to 10. Yeah, but they've made a point. They've made a point of it. No, no. Why did they say that? Because for them. This is this the early manuscript don't have it. That makes the point that I'm saying, bro. No, but brother Jason, listen, look, 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 look. It's a very, but Jason, it's very, sure it's, it's, Jason it's a very important point here. They're very you, clearly saying here that the early manuscript don't have it. Okay, so you have now a tradition where you think it's there. So if are you saying in the Greek editions, which which one is that? Your edition. Which that, copy is that? that? That's the uh, and, uh, uh, King James. King James. Obviously, King James have it. That's why you follow King James. No wonder. But. The the Nessel Nessel Island one. Yeah. Do they have that in the text? We don't want to. We don't want to be. We don't want yeah, to in the King James. Yeah. The Nessel Island. No, we don't have the Nessel Island. The Nessel Island, which I have a copy of, of NASB 27th edition or something. Right. Make your point, bro. Yeah. Then everyone should now then say, look, this is part of our textual tradition. It should be all there. But there are manuscripts, manuscripts, not manuscripts, sorry, translations and critical editions, which they don't have it. They just mention in the footnote. Can I answer that? Before you answer, I'm just responding to your point. You said, if this is the theological approach to textual criticism, not secular, then we should do what the Westminster Confession of Faith text and teaching does. Then that should be reflected in the translations of the Bible, you make the New Testament. Point. Look, look. But, but the fact that the, the fact that they don't add it there, it means they don't agree with you. Right. Well, they agree with me. So hang on, hang on, hang on. We just want to come to a close on this one. Make your point. I want to come to a close. Well, let me make Michael was making this point. The reason why he doesn't accept the Quran, and he gave some of these reasons. What we have identified, your reasons are not so valid about being 600 years later, 600 miles away, and having a different ideas. We show that using the same criteria, you should reject the New Testament. The Jewish people should reject the New Testament. Secondly, you brought up another example about how the Quran acts as a guardian, acts something that it testifies its truthfulness. You said it affirms. Yeah. What the Quran does, the Quran says this is correct and this is false. Quran acts as a quality control. Muhaiminen is a quality control where, where the errors have been introduced, the Quran says, do not say Trinity, resist. It is better for you. It gets the Trinity wrong. Um, hang on, just okay. Since, since he's brought this up, this is absolutely blatant, the total misrepresentation of what the Quran says. Important because we've got this issues about Trinity. Look, look. The Quran does not in any way identify the members of the Trinity. Right? Well, that's another difference. Just like the Bible doesn't identify in any way the members of the Trinity and say these three are one. Now, to claim that the Quran gets the Trinity wrong is total misrepresentation of our text. Patience. So when the Quran says, do not say Trinity, does it identify the members? It doesn't. Because it could be any of the things. For example, I know in your Bible, there are three
persons identified together. Yep. The seven spirits, the Father and the Son. Do you consider the seven spirits part of the Trinity? Yeah, because there are many. Look at Let me, let me, no, no. Let me show you. I think now, in fact, in fact, no, he changed the subject. You've got to let me respond to you. Excuse me, before you respond, please. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. You're not being fair, mate. You're changing the subject. I am not changing the subject. You are. It is your friend. Your friend. Mike, we should leave that and stick to the new. Do you want to let them drop that if they want to drop that? Do you want to drop it? Because I was going to show you, I was going to show you how the Bible gets the Trinity wrong. Right. So, 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 now. Let me respond to that. I, I want to conclude any response. What I'm saying this now in 30 seconds is this. The reasons you gave to reject Islam and the Quran is not even valid in your, according to your own standards and your own admissions. So you have to now re-examine, Michael, your reasons of rejecting the Quran. Because if you could not even justify your reasons in front of Tom, Dick and Harry, it's biggest corner. Do you really think in the day of judgment you'll be able to justify your rejection? I very much doubt so. Right. Jason, first your, all, your, your turn. First of all, in the fulfillment of the law, read the Sermon on the Mount, Christ fulfilled the law. Secondly, there's a, there's a slight equivocation. We, are talk, we were talking about text, and text have to be verified historically. The Quran comes 600 years after Jesus, and we have historical data about Jesus. So the Quran, if it's going to be credible, has to fit in with the historical information about Jesus. And we should have talked about that. That's what I wanted to come in earlier, but I didn't get a chance. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Abbas, let me finish. Let me finish. Jason, if you make a comment, that's false. Let me finish. Abbas, come on. I respect it. Yeah. Thirdly, I've, asked you, I've only asked you one question about the Quran. Give me the chain of narration for the sticks, stones and bones. You can't do that. What does it that. mean? Well, it, you said it's revealed. Hang on, what does it mean, sticks, stones and bones? Well, there's a hadith that says it's revealed in sticks, stones and bones. You would agree? Uh, explain to me. Yeah. You would agree? Show me that. You would agree? No, I'm not going to agree on anything. We, we can you make a claim. Oh, come on, come on, you know that's true. You made a claim. Don't ask yeah, me why I don't see truth. You know Open up your claim. Every Muslim knows. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. You Jason, do Jason, Jason. Can you get, um, can you get the hadith? Uh, no, be honest. No, no. Be honest. Don't do that. So give me, give me the chain of narration for the sticks, stones and bones. Which narration? Which narration? Which, narration? Which book? What's the historian Muslim called? Hang on a second. What's the historian Muslim called? Jason, Jason, Jason. First what is the historian Muslim called? Rashid. Is it Rashid? Adnan Rashid. Yeah. I asked him. He agreed. He agreed what, what that he the agree? Quran was revealed on sticks, stones and bones. Jason, that's, but that's nonsense, yes. Jason. So there's one of your own historians. But Jason, even a five-year-old knows that's not So true. where's the chain of narration? No, but Jason, even a five-year-old... Abbas, I love you, mate. No, but Jason... It's you been a pleasure you, to talk you to you. You can't apply... But you can't answer Jason, that. Jason, you're, you're not being very academic Jason, now, Jason, I have to say. Jason, well, we can debate on it. No, I don't have to debate whether being academic or not. It's quite obvious, isn't it? have an honest discussion. We can get the information. To have an honest discussion, you can't just throw something in the in the bag and then when you're Asked, where did you get this? I'll give you the information. Right, you're not if you go on Sucker Films, you can see me on video explaining I'm not going anywhere. the evidence. But do you have the hadith? I give you the hadith. You can go on Sucker Films, you can get All of this materials you've got and you haven't got it. No, but hold on. Since you don't have that, let's let's refer, let's talk about what no, you Let me finish my last bit. You just have. My last bit. My last bit. My last bit is we go the reason why you made a good point about the NIV and why is why is that is the majority today, right? You made a good point. The point is, is that um, Westcott and Hall were not spiritually minded people. They were more heterodox than orthodox. So their view, like they believed in spiritism, and their views were accepted by the academic world, right? Where we should be as Christians, not follow a spiritist, but we should follow the orthodox way, orthodox Christianity, not people who believe in spiritism, uh, contacting the dead. So that's why the academic world went with Westcott and Hall, and that's why you've got the NIV today. That's why it's the majority, because they went with Westcott and Hall. Is that false then? But yeah, so there's a greater tradition. So is the NIV false? There's a greater tradition by Dean Bergen, who showed academically, clearly, that the Byzantine text is the most reliable, but the academic world has disagreed, and they've gone, they've gone the way of secular textual criticism rather than going theologically, so the, which the, I try the, to explain. So are the other Bibles false, therefore? They're, based, they're not based on good, sound textual criticism. So, so are they, do they have falsity in them, then? They're not based, I've told you, they're not based on... Do they have falsity the, in them? But, the, but wait a minute, but the thing do is... Do they have falsity in let them, me explain, Jason? Let me explain. It's a simple question. Let me, let me 
explain. Because we have three families, the Western, the Alexandrian, the Byzantine. Jason, please, answer even the question. In all, even in all... But Jason, please, please answer, answer the question. question. Even, do let me finish. No, I don't want a big story. I just want to know, are, to they, know. are they all God's words, so, or are, do they have man's hands at work no, within so those even, Bibles? So, listen, so even in all the texts, right, we have the preservation, even in the that's NIV. Not the question. That's not the question, Jason. Look, that's why I don't like to have these discussions with Christians. I love you guys. I I love your passion, but it always comes down to these ridiculous arguments and discussions. It's, you, it's not listen, ridiculous, listen, Jason. I asked you a simple question. I'm giving you the best scholarship I, I, from Orthodox fine, Christianity. Fine, and I'm asking you a very simple, logical, rational, honest question. Yes. Do, does that therefore mean that the other Bibles are not the literal word of God? It's a simple question, Jason. No. No. So therefore, all those millions of Christians who are following those Bibles potentially could go astray. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I meant yes, sorry. Yes. Oh, they are preserved. Yes. Literally the word of God. Yes. So, the Gnostic Gospels, <laughs> Gospel of St. Tremors. You see, Jason. Jason, that's a bit of a U turn. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because even though. <laughs> they tried to change it. Listen, even though they tried to change it in the uh, in the uh, Alexandrian side, even though they tried to change it from the Alexandrian side, we still have good manuscripts from the Alexandrian brother, side. You know what? Look, wait brother. a minute. Wait a minute. That counters those who tried to change it. Brother, you know, you know, you know something. There's a very interesting verse in the Quran in Surah Kahf. I think it's verse 56. And uh, can you get it up for me, Mansoor? I think it's verse, fi verse 56. And, and it's... Um, so we can get me the hadith for the stick stones and bones. It's a very, very interesting verse. And I think it really does apply to a lot of the discussions that go on here. And I'd like to quote it accurately rather than just uh, paraphrase so I'll let you have the last word. I'm going to go in. Right? In English. What is it? Just read it out, Mansoor. Is that the one? Yeah. And we do not send apostles, but as givers of good news and warning, and those that disbelieve make a false connection. Right. So, yeah. So basically, this verse, I want to, want to read it out, please. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get a translation, which... Is it, is it the half of the dirty, bro? And we send not the messengers except as givers of glad tidings and warnings. But those who disbelieve dispute with false argument in order to refute the truth thereby. Is that the half? And they treat my ayat, my proofs and evidences and verses and lessons and that with which they are warned just as just and mockery. mockery. Now, my point is, Jason, uh, that's where, unfortunately, for me, and I, 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 honestly, I'm not just saying it to favour you or whatever. I love the passion that the Christian brothers and sisters show for the religion. Yeah. But, but we have to be honest. And honesty dictates that if God, if Allah, if your creator and my creator, if we truly love him, yeah. And we want to follow his guidance. Yeah, yeah. We must make sure that it is his guidance. Amen. And if man has, as you've admitted yourself, you know, has added things, taken things away, we have to be careful. Now, and, and that's where, you know when you talked about 600 years after, 600 miles away with new ideas? You know what those new ideas are actually? Those new ideas are the same ideas that you find in the Old Testament, with, in the Torah. The new ideas came in between with Pauline Christianity. Not Jesus' is Christianity with Pauline. So, what were the new ideas that came in? Suddenly, pork, you can have it. Oh, what? Well, 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 I mean, from a Christian pork, perspective, pork is this, okay. is, this is godly good. No, 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 but listen, but the Old Testament, Moses' is own, look, Jesus' his own practice. Je look, listen, Paul, Jason, 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 Jason,
Jesus, Jesus' own actions of not eating swine, of worshipping the Creator, never worshipped Himself, okay? Those new ideas that you talk about came from a transformation of the very gospel and, and, and the very literature that you're talking about. And that is why my friend, my brother in religion, right, in religion, religiosity, that's why we're having such a long discussion no, we have about to to about so. what is even the word of God. But, but, but Abbas, Abbas. And so, and so I, let me just finish. The new message that you talk about that should be taken away it is this new message that came in between. And as Brother Mansour has already mentioned, the Quran came to correct. But, but uh, Abbas, if that's true, what went wrong in the middle. If that's true, if that's because, true. Because, because your own admission was, Abbas, your own admission was, God preserves his word. His word. In all the manuscripts. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You missed a, a very important point at the end. Can I finish? Now? You missed a very important Jesus, point at the end. Jesus, if he wants to. No, I didn't say that. No, no, but you no, should have. No, no, no. No, but you should no, have. No, no, no. You know I tell why, you know why, I tell you, you why, I tell you why. Let me just finish. You know why you should have said that? Because clearly here we've demonstrated no, I'll I'll that you God chose not to. No, I'll explain. Exodus chapter 24, verse 8. Anyway, we need to go to prayer. Okay, I'm going so to go to prayer. I think we'll finish up. Okay, finish. So I can't Jay. finish. No, you can't. You can, Sorry. You can finish. Can you can finish. Can finish. Yeah, you can. You can. But I have to go. And then just pray as one minute is coming. Just hold on to that. Can I give me one minute to please? Abbas, I appreciate your kindness. But we have tons of historical data to show that Christ died and rose again. That's number one. And number two, you're not willing to engage with the Quran. I only asked you one question. You said the sticks, stones and bones, you don't agree with that, you don't believe that. I have asked Rashid, whatever his name is. Adnan Rashid. That's really, that, is, that is a typical belief. Wait a minute. You're not even willing to engage. You, if, you're, if you're true yes. in what you're saying, yes. you would be willing to be challenged yes. on your turf. Absolutely, no but problem at all. No problem at all. Not. No problem at all. In this conversation that we've had, <coughs> you've questioned us more than we questioned you. But that was a topic. The, but that was a topic. No, but Abbas, if, think about it. If what you're saying is true, you could take the hits. Of course. But you can't take the hits. But look at Abbas. When, okay, well, when you, you can't take okay, the hits. Okay, you made your point. When you raise an issue about sticks, stones, and bones, or whatever it is, right? It's, it's only sensible and reasonable for me to ask you what hadith are you quoting? But I give you the source. <coughs> What's the tafsir? I give you the source. I said, go what, to what, 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 and watch me. Well, I can't, well, I can't verify that now, can I? No, but I give you a source. I know, but how can I enter a discussion where I have to now go away and go into soccer films and but have a look is, at what you said? But this is basic one-on-one -on -one Muslim belief. You should know this. No, but, no but, but that's not the point. You can't chuck a red herring in. It's not a red herring. It, well, then give me the hadith. Well, we give, me the the hadith. Taf, give me we the tafsir. Give me the Give me the tafsir. Please. If have we, you got it here? Like, have you got your phone? <coughs> you just Google stick stones and bowls, Quran revelation. And then you're done then. Abbas. No, no, not at all. You are, bro. No, because I, I raised a very important point in our, when we first had our discussion. Because if your claim is that this is not the word of God, and if your claim is that there's massive corruption, change and manipulation. There's tons of it in the Quran. Okay, hold on a second. Tons of it, mate. If you're right in your assertions. I can give it you now. It, come on, I didn't interrupt you, right, Jason. Come on, Abbas, come on. If you're right in your interpretations, then there have to be certain effects to those causes. The very fact that we do not find those causes 14 centuries down the road is an incredible weighty evidence that supports my claim of preservation and goes against your claim of corruption because, I'll tell you why, because the Quran spread within a very short period, you know the history, right? From China to, uh, uh, to Spain to Africa. Many of these, many of these, uh, many of these reciters who were teaching others were cut off from Mecca or Jeddah or Saudi Arabia. There was no, there was no logistics. There was no modern technology to ensure that they could collaborate with one another and keep correcting these mistakes, supposed mistakes, Got it. And, and, and unify the Qur'an. 
Now, the problem that you have, not only is there no historical 